Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about example 2.16 from the chapter 2 units and measurements of class 11 physics. Let us see the question first. The SI unit of energy is joule which is equal to kilogram meter square second raised to minus 2. That of speed is meter second raised to minus 1 and of acceleration is meter second raised to minus 2. Then which of the formulae for kinetic energy can rule out on the basis of dimensional arguments. See here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 expressions for the uh, kinetic energy. Okay and we want to find out uh, which formulae can rule out on the basis of dimensional arguments. Okay that is we just want to check their dimensional correctness. Here we have 5 equations given. See, every correct formula or equation must have the same dimensions on both the sides of the equation and only quantities with the same physical dimensions can be added and the quantities with the same physical dimensions can be subtracted. See, let us see the first equation. First one is K, kinetic energy K is equal to m square v cube. Okay, so you see, LHS of the equation is this and RHS of the equation is this m square v cube. So on LHS we have kinetic energy k. Okay so what about the dimension of k? See here we have general expression for the energy you now e equal to mc square. So what about the dimensions of energy? Dimensions of mass then square of dimensions of velocity. Right so this will be equal to what? m L square T raised to minus to this is the dimensions of energy. It is the kinetic energy here. Kinetic energy, potential energy, all other forms of energy are having the same dimensions of energy that is M L square T raised to minus 2. So dimensions of kinetic energy is M L square T raised to minus 2. Okay, so now you see on RHS we have M square V cube. So what about the dimensions of M square V cube? See, m square, so m square here, v, it is the velocity, l t raised to minus 1 is its dimension, whole cube. Okay, so this will be equal to what? m square is here, then l cube t raised to minus 3. Okay, so you see, the dimensions of LHS is m l square t raised to minus 2. And dimensions of RHS is m square l cube t raised to minus 3. You just compare these two dimensions of this equation on RHS and LHS. Okay, just compare the dimensions of LHS with the dimensions of RHS. These two are not the same now. So we can say that this equation k equal to m square v cube. This equation is dimensionally not correct. It is dimensionally incorrect. Hence it is a wrong equation. So this equation can be ruled out. Okay, this equation can be ruled out because it is not a correct equation. It is a wrong equation. Okay. Now, let us see the second equation which is b k equal to half mv square. Okay, see the dimensions of kinetic energy. It is the dimensions of energy m l square t raised to minus 2. Now, on RHS we have half m v square so dimensions of RHS, what would be the dimensions of RHS? We have half mv square here. What is its dimension? Half no dimension, then dimensions of mass is m, then dimensions of velocity is l t raised to minus 1, all square is here, so square. So this will be equal to m l square t raised to minus 2. Okay, now you just compare the dimensions of RHS. LHS with the dimensions of RHS. On LHS we have this dimension and on RHS we have this dimension. See these two are the same no? So we can say that this equation is dimensionally correct. Okay. Now let us see the third equation K equal to M into A. So this is the LHS of this equation. M A is on the RHS of the equation. What about the dimensions of LHS? That is dimensions of kinetic energy which is m l square t raised to minus 2. Then on RHS we have m into a. Okay on RHS we have m into a. What is its dimension? Dimension of mass is m. Dimension of acceleration is m l t raised to minus 2. 
Okay, now you just compare the dimensions of LHS with the dimensions of RHS. <coughs> Here LHS we have ML square T raised to minus 2. On RHS we have the dimension ML T raised to minus 2. These two are not the same. So this equation K equal to M into A, it is dimensionally incorrect. Hence it is a wrong equation. This can be ruled out. Okay, this equation can be ruled out because it is a wrong equation because it is not dimensionally correct. It is not correct. It is dimensionally incorrect. Okay. Now, let us see the fourth equation. K equal to 3 by 16 mv square. This is the LHS of the equation and this term is there on the RHS of the equation. So, what about the dimensions of LHS? That is dimension of K which is m l square t raised to minus 2 and on RHS we have 3 by 16 m v square so what about the dimensions of RHS 3 by 16 no dimension then dimensions of masses m then v square dimensions of velocities l t raised to minus 1 then whole square so this will be equal to what m l square t raised to minus 2 now you just compare these two I mean the dimensions of LHS and dimensions of RHS of this equation See both are the same now m l square t raised to minus 2. So we can say that this equation is dimensionally correct. Okay this equation is dimensionally correct. Now let us see the fifth equation that is k is equal to half m v square plus m into a. See on LHS we have k only. So dimensions of LHS is what m l square t raised to minus 2. On RHS we have half mv square and ma. Two terms are here. On RHS we have two terms. One is half mv square. Another one is m into a. What about the dimensions of half mv square? This will be half no dimension. Mass m v square no dimensions of v square is what? L square t raised to minus 2. Then here we have m into a. This term is also there on RHS. Dimensions of m into a. Dimensions of mass is m. Acceleration L T raised to minus 2. Okay. Now you just compare the dimensions of LHS as well as the dimensions on RHS. Here dimensions of LHS is M L square T raised to minus 2. And on RHS that is the right hand side of the equation. We have two terms. One is half M V square. Another one is M into A. Okay. But you just compare the dimensions of these two terms on RHS of the equation. These two are different now. One is m l square t raised to minus 2. Another one is m l t raised to minus 2. So both are different. So on RHS, here we have two terms with two different dimensions. Okay. Only quantities with the same physical dimensions can be added. Since the quantities, these two quantities are having two different dimensions on RHS. As a whole, this RHS... The right hand side of the equation has no proper dimensions. So this equation can be ruled out. It is not dimensionally correct. It is dimensionally incorrect. Okay. So you see only these two equations that is equation B and equation D are dimensionally correct. If an equation is dimensionally correct that doesn't mean that that equation is perfect or exactly correct. For this we want to check the definitions of kinetic energy and as per the definition of kinetic energy equation B that is K is equal to half mv square it is the correct formula. Okay, these two equations are dimensionally correct, but the correct formula for kinetic energy is half mv square. Alright.